back and back. That was weird. Suddenly died. I'm not even for a nanosecond did my internet like drop. You probably thought it was a cross up. Mm, true, true. She does get behind sometimes. Yeah, let's let, let's put her in check. You got to lead. Why not? I agree with this. Ooh, try to hit him with the with the hyper hop shenanigans. Oh, the dome, oh, son. My goodness. A quick counter switch, though. Oh, Raccoon, we know you're not easy to beat. You heard what he just said? <laughs> So free level three and and Hawkeye will be exiting stage left, stage right. Yeah, much better game two for Noel. Noel finally found his stride. Boxed in now. Double trigger activated. Nice air grab from Noel. Gonna put that trap down for some extra safety and protection. Oh. All right. No, they're still crazy. Yeah. Oh, They're still man, muddy. I see boxes are still really stupid. I was gonna say that they weren't even like, like I don't know, right they here. were good but not outside the realm of this game. But honestly, no, they are outside the realm of this game. They're abnormally good. Yeah. Hit boxes all the way around, even post nair. They're definitely a lot better now. They were truly stupid before nair. That was smart too. Tag. Hold on, he gets a combo. Gets that follow up in the corner. Gonna back away for some safety. Oh, some more got clipped. Mini hit right now for Noel. We'll put a point on the board for him. But Dual Kevin has plenty of time. Oh, okay. Oh, I comboed. That man hit him with the morning wood. I shouldn't be surprised. Group combos for an hour. <laughs> My man holding a Glock, though. Oh, come on over here. Uh oh, Noel's getting comfortable. Yep, okay, that drop. Damn, so hit him with the easy dead kick. No conversion, though. <laughs> Harry. It's definitely good. People always underestimate health regen. Mm, nice. nice. Or like health steal or stuff like that. I like it. I like and it a lot. The spacing on that, too, was perfect. Very hard to quantify in a fighting game. Oh, caught him. Caught him sleeping. That don't work. That don't work as much on Rock and Raccoon. He is pretty small. Some good damage right now. Damn, look at how, how gangster she blocks. She puts the whole elbow in her face. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Yeah, had to use that counter tag. The reads right now, though, from Duel Kevin. There's an arrow everywhere Noel wants to be. Oh! Again. Like this. Shot, just keep him a check. Beautiful. But oh, we in. Time to guess. Why is the Dante ult in this game fucking yeah, Dante? Yeah, Why isn't it DMC2? Right. Yeah, I didn't even fuck around with DMC2. I heard it was shit, so I didn't play it. But I gotta say that I do like the Dante design. All right, the million stats, give him a check. Oh, we activate. <laughs> we not trying to take nothing. Oh, let's go, My Hawkeye Clint. Goodness. Capcom acts like DMC3 is like their crowning achievement. Same with RE1. Is he saying Dante calling it Rocket Raccoon? Street Fighter 4. Hold my bugging. They're not wrong. Those are good games. It sounded like it, though. Those are some of their best games. Nice, put your gun away. Time to get mm, I like the attempt, though. Try to get in in time to block the bullets uh, for Dante. Ooh, that cross under was very... Very smooth. I also hate Rocky. Kevin gonna be able to clean up Gamora. He's at free level three. I hate everything about him. I played RE2 only once and I didn't beat it. I did get kind of far in it though. Oh, we in freeze. Put them up. Put them up. I actually don't finish RE games that much. I got like most of the way into uh, Revelations and then I just dropped it. Are you one is very archaic, but it's very nicely oh, yes. self-contained. <laughs> that is giving giving the well. Yeah, he's playing he's playing clean. All right, Noel Brown. I thought he was gonna go with it and keep that momentum in that match, but overall, I really like Nero. 
got back Gameplay in end, rare form uh, story. and took control of the match. Very nice. All oh, the gunshots. Okay, the God Slayer trying to keep him in check. Wow, he noticed. That he was noticed. such a good one. If he would have kept doing that string, he would have got pushed locked into the trap. So I like the, I like the intelligent stuff right there from doing Kevin. Very smart. That's definitely something Rocket Raccoon players love to do. No, I played three. Mm. I think I beat Kud Veronica. I, tags, uh, I beat I three, I beat one. I beat four, five, and six. Just to, just to keep Raccoon in check. Nice. Put your hands I don't think any RE ball. game I've beaten on my first playthrough. <laughs> I usually play them a little bit and then stop and then start again from the beginning and then beat them. Good blocks. I think my favorite is probably four. <laughs> And then probably like genuinely the six. The explosion, uh, the explosion and then probably Code yeah, Veronica. And then probably, oh. then probably, Kelvin probably, now. probably five and then one. To be oh. honest, maybe one and then five. Oh, the restand. Nice, time to guess. Good block. Nice, nice. And then Survive. three and then two. I don't think I ever played Resident Evil Zero. And there's some spin-offs that I don't even know anything oh. about. Okay, finally open him up, but like Operation Raccoon City and shit. I tend to like the action nice RE more than the horror RE, but I like them both for different reasons. I think the action ones have better replay value though. Like I beat Code Veronica and I didn't even want to touch it again. I beat RE5 and like immediately I was ready for my next playthrough. This is good. This is a good. This is great, actually. Even though the danger is still in the game, Rock and Raccoon, but he got Hawkeye nice and healthy. I own Revelation Hopefully 1 and 2. I've been putting off starting 2 oh, until so I finish 1. Oh, I've been putting off finishing battery. 1. I saw that. <laughs> mm, try. By this point, I'd probably start a new game rather than. Um, I would have done it. One bar wouldn't hurt right now. Let's, of course, he's really trying to finish the job. I've been really oh. lax on um, uh, playing new video games ever since I started working on my own video game. What? Well, Kevin lands in the trap, immediately spins that counter tag. He does have two more bars in case he wants to use it again, but I think Dual Yeah, the remakes are super, super he good. Oh, he pushed him into it. That was so smart to switch sides until he could get that, this, that situation going. And now Noel has the life lead, just like that. He was down, but now he's back. Oh, he interesting. Be careful, though. I don't Ooh. think I beat the original oh, RE. Nice. I beat Remake. I played both of them. And he's about to get that second meter just in time. Nice. Just to keep it, just to make a guarantee. Good stuff, Dual Kevin goes to the grand final. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 let's go, Dual Kevin. I see you. That was a good match. The Well Brown acknowledges that that was a great set. So good stuff. You will see that, man. I just got Star Allies and I haven't even put it in yet. You know what? I'm going to take a break. It looks cute. <laughs> you can unify the world if you really wanted to. I hope that happens. I want the world to be unified. I mean, I think people are scared to play him because he's like, he's a bit slow and clunky, but he's got some grind. He's got some good stuff. I've been seeing a, a few really good. I wonder, I'm going to open this right now. Ronan did Opening my Kirby copy. I wonder, do you just need two extra Joy-Cons in order to play four player? Or I wonder if there's some way to play four player with only two Joy-Cons. Uh, no other controller works for for this game, does it? I mean, there's the Wii, there's the Switch Pro controller, I think. I'm gonna consult the manual. What manual? All I gotta say. I'm like really tempted to lick the Switch He's game. I haven't licked any Switch off. games yet. Said that, like, that is his friend for real. I've got a drink right here, oh, so goodness. if it's nasty, I can just. Jones, please. Thank you. Oh, I did it. Nice. It is bitter. I did it. I, like I licked the Switch game. People use their Switch to nullify the counter switch. It is a good option. As long it wasn't very strong, but I only gave it the tiniest, tiniest lick. How very interesting. Dr. Strange is bleeding right now. Watch the legs. Come on, Ned. Come on, Ned. He was so this was a brand new game. And there's a spot in the case for a manual to go. I actually kind of know there isn't. 
Like Our manuals just done. Is it over? I guess all the manuals just come with the game now, right? A lot of games you can like disc games. Like I, most games on the PS4 have a manual, like on the disc. So you plug it in, and manual is one of the options besides play game. I think other games do that too, right? I don't know if the Switch does that, but that seems to be a thing now. I miss manuals, dude. They were cool. I have a big bag of manuals. And there's some fucking old ass, cool ass manuals in there. I've got Pokemon Red and Blue's manual. Mm, that one's super dome. nostalgic for me. That one just like. Takes me back really like far. I got Mario RPG's manual in there. That's a bunch of art. Yoshi cookies and shit. Oh, that was that was a bad drop. Yeah. Nice, just to keep him in check with the beam. Yeah, he's really good. He's really good with strain. He always makes sure he has an Agamotto out, or he's using most mm. of his tools. Nice cross up from Ultron. I like how he was killing the frames of the crouching jab, just set up, just set up perfect on the meaty. Nice throw. Agamotto's out there, but she just jumped right over it. Not gonna die, so it's okay. I'm pretty sure, uh, I love how cinematic the super is. I say that, but I kind of hate cinematic super. I like super stepping lock in. I was thinking just recently about how the way Abigail Punch works is kind of like not cheap per se, but Abigail Punch always does the full damage before it inflicts any stun, which is something that's normally only true for EX moves. And Abigail gets a lot of abuse out of that. Go for the cross up and get the air to air. Into the finish. Better nice. There aren't even that many EX moves that are like that. It was, it was. They were back and forth. Chun EX legs. Um, I came at EX DP does all the stun on the last three hits. It's like split evenly between them. Starting off that super, but not enough damage jumps away at the start. Very nice. I once bought Legend of Mana and the disc ended up not working, but I was blown away at how fucking awesome the manual was, and it made me want to play it so badly. But the only old game store near me had only one copy of Secret of Mana, Legend of Mana, the PS1 version. And um, the disc wouldn't work. And it was the only copy they had, so I never actually got to play it. I think it would have been my jam back then. But I ended up actually playing it forever. I really like the Mana games I've played, but I haven't bothered to play a lot of them. I played Adventure, Final Fantasy Adventure. I played Sword. I haven't really fucked around with any of the secret nonsense. I never played Lunar 2. I beat Lunar 1. Is it just a straight sequel? Is it just fucking Alex and whatever after the fact? One of these out days. I, like it. We saw him trying to do that I might do before, Legend of uh, Secret of Man on stream. He cornered himself, though. This is kind of weird that I like this series so much, but then I don't actually fuck around with it. Yeah, it's a pretty long cinematic. But that's a good uh, 70% going right there. Very smart. And we get a setup here. But does he want to tag? Yeah, I've been meaning to do that forever, too. Yeah. I'll probably do all the, um... I actually really would like to play these games on stream. All these games. I, like, beat half of Lunar Legend on stream. It's, um, Lunar Silver Star or whatever, but it's redone to be a more traditional JRPG on GBA. But I like the system more. Cool. I'm, I've always been kind of annoyed that I didn't like beat it. I got like decently uh, far in and then just stopped. Okay, spend that cash. I agree. Yeah, Doctor Strange goes down though. I'll play some Lufia games on stream too. Probably shot. one in four. Mm. <laughs> Vintage right now, but now he's in the box. He 
get in. You know what, old Tron? It's okay. At least he wasn't in the game. At least he wasn't around when the missiles was involved. Right, right. right. And, I, and I talk about missiles, and that's missiles to show up out of nowhere. Yeah, she's got her own missiles. But yeah. All right, there's G. One to one now. One a piece. One okay. Yeah, we have had some sick matches all through this top eight, man. So I appreciate it. Shout out to all, all everybody that placed. And shout all out I know about PS Fantasy Star Four is that someone dies, which is already a pretty big spoiler. But I don't know who it is who dies, so I'll be all right. That might actually be PS3. Oh yeah, we here. Squad. And the only reason I know that someone dies in one of the Fantasy Star games is because it happened before FF7. And it was someone who was all indignant about that. He's like, it's not fair that FF7 had a character die when Fantasy Star did that first. And better, end quote. That's a nice little gap for me. Don't tell me who it was. Yeah. Some birthday fun. Yo, you know what's so crazy? I'm so hungry, I forgot it's my birthday. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Right, Three generations of characters. What game? Dragon Quest V did that. That's such a good Except it was two generations of characters. Oh, they got chopped. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought there was an actual cross-up, but he stayed on the same side. They oh my goodness. Chops. And Eddie back in his favorite place, the corner. Oh no, they're getting clips left and right. Got hit, got hit on the switch. Very unfortunate. Both for Eddie. characters. He's going to have to watch all of this boss ass on both of his characters. And Ultron is just getting his back smacked. He saw his arms out in the back. Like. <laughs> I can't, I can't is that really combo? Can actually feel pain. No, it didn't. It's a damn robot. My goodness, what happened? Boss ass. What happened? This man washed him, spin dry. Oh my goodness. Doctor Strange has some work to do. It's a wrap. Oh, yeah, Forget it's a work. Wrap. It is a wrap. Assisted by the Soul Fist just to wrap. get that continuation on that combo. Very nice. Obnoxious. You don't even need to do that, Chris. Woo! But fail. Oh, my goodness. Get hit with the two. Yo, not for nothing, I got to get on this wave. I think when I get home, I'm going to bite Monster on it. <laughs> I know. It looks too fun, especially now they have Dante in there. Are you serious? Yep, you can play as Dante. It's, I'm sold. You know how they have Ryu? They yeah, yeah. Have Dante. Oh, sold. that cross-up. How dare you say that to me? <laughs> Crush so, Fuse. Amateur. Ultron was too wide. Morgan couldn't hit um, right. Strange. Oh, that was kind of cool. Course, that super is there and ready. Oh, the punish. Not this is not a good play, actually. Really cool combo. Yeah. Smart. So he doesn't even use to jump hard kick in his combo at all. Oh, <laughs> he didn't even use one. Up. He super jumped up back by mistake. He's trying to do a forward. Definitely was trying to get the hardest of knock mm. I love long combos where the jump hard kick is almost instant. And long combos with the jump hard kick, the first jump hard kick doesn't happen forever. Actually, he actually could have... Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. I was looking at the wrong uh, space, uh, space stone. Mm. Oh, he tried to scratch her. He That's unsafe, right? I don't know. Time, no. So he didn't get caught by that super. Duh. Monster Hunter didn't even get hit. Okay. I think this is really good for uh, not enough damage. Out. That's a great sign for not enough damage right now to tie this up. Yeah, he does this with just more again. Space irrelevant. Oh, the air to air stuff. Okay, okay. He can survive this box. Oh, or can he? Yes, he does. He does. Good attempt though from, uh, from Neta, try to air the air while he's in the box. I mentioned this in a previous stream oh, wow, not so long ago, but I would uh, profoundly enjoy if Capcom took legs. Um, legs. this exact engine, legs. removed tag, what? and oh, wow. made a Dark Stalkers game. Well, remove tag and stone and make it 6 normal. Just desperately trying to make something happen. And Christy's taking advantage of that. This, could, this is a comeback. Ultron was the better person to put Morgan in the box. It's still possible with Strange, but it's a lot shittier. He has to be careful, though. He can't afford to take any damage. He does that double teleport quite often. No uh -oh. meters here, so he's enough to try to set him up with Agamotto. Oh my god, Chris G clutches that out. Damn good shit. So rock. Ooh, what a bust out. Right out the gate, and it works. I mean, we've seen Chris G do that a lot, so 
it's a good game. All the people I was rooting for are out. Well off, and then you're safe. You're still gonna get to play. No, I just want to know who wins between these two. That was sick. He landed the first overhead, but there was a cross up waiting in the shadows. Light him up. Light him up. Light him up. I'll pay for this game was okay. four hours. And she's I mean, four hours, two hours. Top eight for injustice was one hour. Oh, oh, nice. oh, <laughs> oh, that's oh, Jesus Christ. The, the, the splinters I've watched there. exactly Street Fighter 4, mm, I mean, four, 5, and this, okay. and that's it. So good, so good. Yeah, I, love combos. I don't know what kind of side games no, they had going on. I imagine they had all the fucking modern and shit. I wonder if there's been a single like big tournament that had them fighting hurts. I don't think you realize that. It's the kind of game that I can see it like uh uh one of them anime tournaments. That would have been the best decision, but you know what? There we go. Some tournaments just have a lot of anime games. I think Frosty Fossing does. Guess to be very deliberate in his approach. So Most strike here. Nice push lock stone. It's gonna be showing a lot of respect. Oh, okay. I Very suppose I want to watch that. Western Third Strike usually puts me to sleep. Yeah, she was a little low. Get him. Yeah. Okay. That's a free punish. And use that shadow combination to make this combo even better. And then use oh, whenever I see Western Third Strike, so it's often like kind of iffy and out of practice. I thought he was gonna have time to finish her off and then still have a, a, a box. Not that I'm the greatest the player in the world, but I often watch uh -oh, it and be is. like, I could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these fellows. I don't, I don't usually get that impression watching Japanese like footage, although it depends. In East versus West Wars, I could definitely beat a lot of the early players. He's good. Yeah, he's alive, he's alive. He can actually play this out well. It's really close. It really can go either way. They both have two bars. Nice, fierce guns. Just to stay above the shots. That might hit. Almost. Interesting. Nice defense. To the that fucking other Morgan zipping around like crazy. Much more difficult. The fatal rise is good. And the well brown is going. <gasps> Why did it fall out again? Fell out? Don't let it be a classic. She fell out? I don't really like Morgan in this matchup. I'm salty. I'm salty about that. Mm, yeah, I don't like her. Those piercing guns are good. Any hit right now for Noel can do it, but that doesn't mean he should get overconfident. He is being patient, though. He, he definitely knows what's at stake right now. Getting this first point on the board is going to be huge for either one of them. Nice. Good stuff. Damn, that was... Tag after that next shadow blade. There's still a mm, ton of footage left. Lot, actually, yeah. This is Grand Finals, isn't it? Probably a bracket like, reset. It's like consistently happening. I don't know if people was trying to like dash under him or something. No, Dual Kevin was still in. You're going to take some damage, so. Yep, you can leave. You can leave. Wow. Now they no, didn't even win. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I like that. That was Loser's Finals, I guess. Nice. I agree. Or maybe that was he Winner's said, Finals, and then... <laughs> Dual Kevin beat whoever Good was part. whoever Good lost it. Those here for top three. Backwards. <laughs> no pops. No, Dual Kevin's a winner. Oh, that was perfect. Right here. Oh yeah. Because Monster Hunter has definitely been putting. Well, Christy didn't mix. win. Yeah, this I guess Dual really Kevin did. That is such a good combination with the poison arrow, man. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, I saw Dual what you Kevin tried to do. Oh, oh my god, is that? Wow. Oh, she's I'm gonna lit. click on this. I'm probably not gonna watch all this, but we're gonna take a peek at it. Is that a Firestorm? I think Sonic Fox has been playing a smidge of Firestorm. This might be him playing Firestorm right now, match one. Sonic Fox said some very kind things about Firestorm right when the game came out. <laughs> and then absolutely yeah, oh, no one absolutely. used Firestorm. And Sonic Fox, has been like Sonic Fox was like, Firestorm is one of the best characters in this game. Or <laughs> rather, he said that Sonic uh, Firestorm would trait. <laughs> that's one of the best characters in this game. <laughs> wow, what a high shot right there. 
Firestorm doesn't seem to have changed that much across the patches. Um, the amount of time he has after a uh, ground push, that thing. The amount of time he has after a, a ground beam EX is a lot less. So you can't, like, you know, get up your armor and then dash forward twice and then back three and still have it combo. That didn't look like science. That looked like a little pimp handish. Yeah. This nerd's got a little more style. Stand. Wow. Tricky little 50 50 on left, right. And oh, then immediately no, into a. Uh, um, out of Fox. Overhead. For the air so that overhead always exists and it's always fast as fuck. There it is. But um, if he's in trait level 3, it's. Ooh, nice. That wasted the trait too. Um, if he's in trait level 3, it's. Uh, I grab maps and leads to really nice damage, and it's also a nice combo extender. Absolutely, and you notice Gert does not panic. You know, life deficit or whatever have you. So there's a guarantee there. The four dash. Let him miss his punish. Um, that trait gives you mad good left right 50 50s, but at the end of it, there's always a like a deactivate where he has to touch his belt. And that's touch belt uh, is punishable, so it's a bit like a dark force, except you can't cancel it early. Toward three, dodging, dodging the grab by being airborne, I think. Still a little bit alive. It's so tough at this moment. Plus frames. Yeah, I like it. Just get out of there. And he only has one bar. Meter is gonna hover his space, and Sonic Fox waiting on it. Yeah. He's looking at chip damage territory in that situation, whether he meter burn the molten trap or not. Sonic Fox, the Firestorm level one, continues on. Has not. Two stage leads. Coach Steve looks on in the background. Gers Prince is probably working. I always get a little hype for Firestorm because I actually know everything about him. Well, everything's a bit strong. Really I understand stroke. how he works though. Yeah. So. <laughs> and cancel that string to stay out of trouble now the down one into the molten you can't ex that on reaction that little poof it's invincible I think Try to catch him. if you do it as a reversal oh I like the bait yeah Gur has seen it now he's trying to well doesn't end up working out and like the ex one leads to a full combo Absolutely. He's gonna have you got it recovers pretty fast so you've got I think it's safe and also you can juggle out of it but you can't do the launching one in reaction to the regular one working or anything you got to do one or the other it's one of those moves you have to ex right at the start it's actually rather cool how it works, meter burn versus EX. That's something that Netherrealm kind of invented, and it's it's cool. It's actually really neat. I'd like it in other fighting games. Um, meter burn is when you can use an EX bar to convert a combo, or like to to EX move after it hits, and then EX has to be done at the start. So in Street Fighter, if he throws an EX fireball, it's a thing that he does instead of doing a regular fireball. There's no regular fireball at all. But a meter burn move would be like if you could throw a fireball and then hit a button as the fireball connects and then have it like, you know, do something double damage. Which is pretty much a better angst work. Except instead of double damage, it's launch state, so it's a lot more than double damage. And here we go. Ton of damage on this. He could just ops for the restand. And then again, the super, super dirty 50 50. And here's another one. That can be a cross up or not. Oh, yeah. You have to guess overhead, low grab. And then with that, you know, Sonic can open up and go into essentially whatever he wants because you're going to be responsible. Oh, perfect hit right there. Fighting back. The flea has really good, like, left, right, left, right. I don't know if it has high and low, too. But the left, right is super hard to see. Oh, this teleport punish. And an unclashable combo. Not that many. Didn't budge, wasn't looking for an anti-air, didn't look to catch him with the Molten Trap, anything. And he let Gurr pull the trigger It wasn't even for Unclashable, it was just for max damage. Unclashable probably wouldn't have even had the um, upward poof. This is top 8, and it's an hour long, and they're doing first to 3. What? You see how that didn't combo? You don't have nearly as much time anymore. I think they changed his armor move, too. I think it might not be an armor move anymore, seeing as he did it and his hands are glowing and his chest is not glowing. I think the whole character got like overhauled a little bit. With that move, that whole move got overhauled. Firestorm is pretty much intact from how he was originally designed, I think. 
There are a lot of characters in this game I'm super into. Get something. All right, combos into the trait, which drops the combos. Gonna need to mix them up again. No. Oh, wait, what was what mechanic? Meter burn? Yeah, EX versus yeah, meter burn? Get I get it. Not Sonic Fox. They're just different mechanics that are both in this game. Match point for him. Street Fighter only has EX. All right, Gur desperately trying to figure it out. Nothing doing on the ground. Stomp that fireball a little too fast and high of a hit. Yeah, some characters in this game are unhype as fuck, and a lot of other characters are hype as fuck. I don't know how that hit. He, uh, yeah, he should actually do a damage under right now. Yeah, and, and he did. That did 500 fucking damage. That combo might have been over, I'm not sure. It's one thing. It's one thing's a character that makes me pretty damn hype. Is the shin because it takes every throw known to man and you can bait him into it. But again, you gotta be ready, man. Blocks it. Oh, oh, he, the may, he may try to stand one. I was just gonna say that even though. Oh, what about Clash? The, game, the low angle makes Swamp Thing stand one actually pretty Do you not know how it works? I've never really oh, liked it. Was just of the two. It's basically a second round only combo break. If you're on your red health bar, you can combo break. But it's, it's a lot more in, in, uh, intricate than that. But it's oh not no. it's not <laughs> intricate in a way I like. I don't mind that it's a combo break, but it tends to waste both players' bar. He didn't release the bat in time. He did not. And catches the jump back. Not sure. Probably trying to avoid the meter burn. It's a one-time thing. Both players get one clash. Not using it is considered a mistake. It's like X Factor. It's like, you, you know, you get one, you might as well pop it. That being said, you can do it at dumb times. The main thing is, if you have less meter than your opponent, clashing can be really bad. And just this on can be. So basically, every normal in this game does chip. <laughs> and also, all specials. Everything in this game does chip. So being at a spec of health is really shitty. And clashes can't kill you, but if you clash when you've got less health than the opponent, like that, that literally what we just saw, that was it. If you're getting combo broken, if you're getting comboed and you combo break when you've got less meter than the opponent, um, here it doesn't matter too much because he was probably dead anyway to this combo. But like, if Batman decides to spend his bar, he can remove Swamp Thing's health, and now he has literally 1 HP. 5.25 technically. But like any blocked hit will just kill. This is like over. Like all this doesn't matter. You know I forgot something can regain health. This is still really shitty though. This is like still nearly unwinnable. Got more HP back. This is technically doable but it's so shitty. He should never ever eat another attack. There it is. That was cool though. Being able to restore HP is kind of rare in this game. Oh, he's a Trocidus. Um, both players can bet bar, and if the guy who clashed, if he bets more, he gets HP back. And if the guy who, like, if the other guy bets more, then the guy who clashed loses health. So the HP at stake is whoever used the clash. The other guy's HP is not a factor. But a lot of people tend to save their bar for clashes. And you've got to save bar for your clash and your opponent's clash. So you kind of don't want to spend bar as long as your opponent's got the same amount of bar as you. Or more. And that just creates this really stupid scenario where like combos in this game are very based on EX, but people don't use EX. The damage dissonance between one bar and meterless is pretty large in this game. You can definitely get some beefy combos even without one bar, but like meterless combos often do like 250-ish, and like one bar combos can do like 400-500. So you can get like a pretty big increase in damage. So this was a one bar combo, and it did 400. Yeah, I mean they wanted to have a lot of different things that used meter, but in my humble opinion, um, 
it's better than it was in Injustice 1, where literally using EX was, like, bad at all. But, um... Um... The, not all ways of using meter is created equal in this game. There's a lot of different options, and they're not really balanced against each other super well. One bar combos are really good, though, and so are those armored forward threes and back threes. It's not like other me uses of meter are worthless. It's just that it tends to... It tends to be very centralizing in uh, end game. There's still a little bit of trickiness to it. It's more complicated even than that because there's diminishing returns for winning by more amounts of bar. Like if you win by a single bar, then it's 15% of health regained or lost. One more touch but if you win by two, it's 25, and then 30, and then 33. So the returns get worse and worse. So you don't want to win by a lot. You want to win by a little bit. You don't want to spend four bars just to get an extra 3% over three bars. So the opponent doesn't spend any meter at all. And restarts it. Alex to stay at trial city. He is now locked in. He's going to need to find something in his offense. Batman's a very strange character. His mix-up's not, like, completely shitty. That's an overhead. He's doing it kind of a lot. Um, Batman's a super, super interesting character. He's defensive. He's very defensive. But he's got some kind of weird rushdown things. Like, uh, one thing he has is those little mechanical bats he can summon. If he's got them, he can release them at literally any time. Apart from, like, when he's being comboed. Or, like, when he's blocking stuff. So it's like Monot's Orbs, but better because it's a single button tap and, like, pretty easy to do. You don't have to, like, release a button. You can just tap it. And the bats hit more immediately than Monot's Orbs. So he can do, like, minus or even unsafe things and make them safe. But more importantly than that, he can do minus things and threaten to make them safe with the bat. And if you hit a button trying to punish them... Um, and the bat hits you, then Batman gets a full combo. But of course, that's a mix-up, because Batman could, like, not use the bat, and then you can pu actually punish him. It's a pretty cool mechanic. He also has some combos that leave the opponent in a state where he can't pick up, but then if you shoot some bats, then it juggles, and then he has time to actually pick up his normals. So you've got combos that are only possible if you've got one bat. Or maybe even some combos where it's only possible if you've got two or three bats. This is a one bat combo, I think. Actually, he's doing a different route than I was expecting. He's got one bat floating next to him right now. And it's gone. Bats go away at the end of a round. Uh, one thing about bats is that they... Uh, they build based on time. Like, literally just based on time. So that was two bat release into a jump. Would have given him a combo out of it. Side switch, I like it. Oh, and goes for the blood siphon now. Oh, it keeps it safe. Batman has like no one's really. Down. Everyone has little shades of MK characters. Almost every special attack is based on an MK special attack. But almost no characters are just like MK characters. Outside of it again? Okay, no. And great patience. I see you, Joe. Failed a lot with the anti airs early in the set. He has so not pressed the button. Finally, and the one button he pressed in 20 seconds was right. No error, though. All right, great defense now. Poison faces from this man. Catches King on the dash in. Atrocitus looks big and beefy, but his combos are actually not very strong at all. Save. There's a MK archetype that doesn't really exist in Street Fighter. Looking for the semi once more. Yeah. It's going to keep his meter. Where there's kind of a big beefy guy. Who's got a bunch of really safe pressure? The closest is like M. Bison. Atrocitus is a little bit like M. Bison. His trait makes him quite different. Oh no! This is over, and King doesn't Put get the grapple. Been. Put it in. Okay, yeah. crazy sequence going on right now. Both these guys have no meter, and a clash won't matter as, as, as three or four. He's chosen not to, and here comes the siphon. If he can get close enough, this does in fact kill like Scarecrow. Uh, trouble, but he takes the explosion. Can't uh, do anything. There oh, it is. there it is. He, for and some reason, went for breath at that range. Meter burn. So check out. I chill. You know. Uh, many other. It's just. 
Something in the salt. Crazy to see the evolution. Sub Zero. Another one of the youngins, the upper. And Black Adam. Sub Zero is pretty neat in this game. Sub Zero is amazing game design, and I would also argue amazing character design. A little bit minimalist, but not extremely. He was a good character to add. Ice Clone is such a neat move. The defensive and offensive utility of it are just amazing. He's got a long cooldown on Ice Clone in this game, though. But just out of range is Buffalo. It doesn't last that long. And when it goes, it takes a little while before you can do another one. Wow, and the range of that interactable in there. The slide. People seem to like Sub Zero in this game a lot more than they like Scorpion and Injustice. He challenges on the like the most plus players of all right, things because yeah, yeah. he's gross. And the down two mash special as he loves so much. Now it's his turn. Black Adam in the corner. Sub Zero's not bad, but oh I feel God, like they tried to make him a lot more honest than he knew. I think they were afraid of having another scorpion. He takes fireball destroys right, other fireballs on the way, and I think like okay. Knowing that uh, Sub Zero cannot punish the black magic cloud from that range, great anti air there from Gross. I love the Ice Clone throw. They've just got such a nice thing going on with the Sub-Zero special moves now. It always felt like they were never really sure with Sub-Zero special moves. The Ice Ball is perfect. They don't need to do anything to that. That's such a, that's such a cool archetypical move now. Squirp was really stupid in Injustice 1 when he was added. He was like the best character by far. They ended up nerfing him. And Justice 1 had this really big issue where like half the DLC characters were completely busted when they were at it. Lobo was... Zatanna not so much. I mean, Lobo wasn't. Lobo wasn't busted. Zatanna was not that busted, but she was good. Um, Scorpion was completely insane. Um, Batgirl was completely insane. Martian Manhunter was completely insane. Both Batgirl and Martian Manhunter were not actually nerfed. Or they were, but they weren't nerfed enough. And they're considered to be top two in the game. And they were the last two characters added. Um, who else? Scorpion was completely insane. Who were the other DLC characters? There were like six, or maybe seven. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't, that was a forward dash. I wonder if Buffalo slides there. Does he avoid the tracking of the EX low lightning? I'm not entirely sure. Well, I think the but a lot of them were dumb as fuck as they were at it. True. Expecting forward movement. All right, here's the trade interactive. He's going to back himself into the corner, but gets launched as he tries to fight back interactive for interactive. Out of the air. Oh, not quite. Um, the only person I've ever seen use any Ninja Turtle oh, is Sonic Fox. Because I haven't watched this game a whole lot since they were added, but I think they're understood to be quite strong characters. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of great defense from these players. Like both men just. MKX had pretty fair DLC. Triborg is fine. Boracho is fine. Um, Alien is. Alien was good when it came out, but then kind of went back to being fine. They made Alien a lot weaker. Um, what's his face? Leatherface. He's fine. Jason was fine. Tanya was stupid. Yeah, um, Look, he's the who else? I forget the other two. Oh, there. Tanya's great the only one I can think of that was actually really busted so when Buffalo she was at it. Go ahead and poke under Tremor that. was strong, break 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 but not break like break completely break stupid. Break. Mm -hmm. Tremor was like high, maybe top tier, but he wasn't game breaking. Tanya was maybe game breaking. Still missing one. Absolutely. Both men dashing up the down one coming up before the okay, down two. Okay, he was there in time. No. And there, this time Buffalo gets the conversion into the command grab. He's gonna spin oh, off for the respawn. Oh, predator. Here comes the mix up. Which side, David? He's um. Oh, he's kind of strong. On the air attack, but not super duper strong. Same deal as Alien, maybe. Oh my oh. God! What? 
If they put a Kuma into this game, I would fucking dig it. It'd be kind of cool to have an open source character in a fighting game. And everyone could just have that character. Then no matter what fighting game you play, you can always just play that character. Just one character they agreed to have in every fighting game. Tying it up at one game of peace and Grossi had just getting out of that range. He was about to get launched. Ooh, nice range on the down two. <laughs> I love that move. So good. It shouldn't be any existing person though. Should, they should make a new one. It's a new character. Ooh, he jumps up right over him. The acrobatic forward three for Black Adam. Trying to show off his little twist and athleticism. Unfortunately, he's going to okay. go right over the head of the Lin Kuei. Spend it. Mm -hmm. They should add Akuma to them's fight in herds and then reveal that all characters in them's fight in herds are like one foot tall. And just have Akuma like tower over all of them. Or maybe they should add Akuma and reveal that all the characters in them's fight in herds are like 20 feet tall. And have Akuma be this like little tiny ant. Is this enough to double dive kick? No, instead he's going to go for the black magic. You wouldn't be a really tiny ant if it was 20 feet. Yeah, alright. Akuma in arms. <laughs> what if it was instead of like extending arms, it was just fireballs? Yeah, it was so smart. It seemed like a jump that was an overextension, but no, just have him have um, just have him have fucking his arms just like Dalsim limbs. Dude, what if they actually put Dalsim in arms? That'd be cool. I've never played a default version of Mugen. With that well timed ice clone as he drops another conversion in the corner. Picks another chance, clones back. That was a good right pickup. Oh, he, he just it. built it. It was a pixel. Got the meter on oh, the reset. Stab and Gross is in big time trouble here. Okay. Forced the, the push block. And Buffalo just bashing down too, looking for a jump out of Tim. Right. Unfortunately, if they were going to make a completely generic character, the generic Karate Man would be like a, a good one. No, Kung Fu Man sounds right. That's crazy I think it's Kung Fu yeah, Man, I but I could be wrong. And we need the three most Sitting basic bitch special moves. Pajamas, man. No polar bear pajamas. It just, what it, that's, I'm I'll give them a fireball. Boy, but but not, maybe not an uppercut or a Tatsu. A little off putting. Yeah, the focus is unreal. And the fireball needs to be actual fire, no hot bullshit. And Buffalo being like, I think he's 15. <laughs> he's definitely 15. What are the most basic bitch special moves? <laughs> Just like, man, in all fighting so games. Much young talent in the scene. Yeah, 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 it's great to see. What are some special moves where if you saw that special move, you'd be like, wow, that's uninspired? Maybe command grab. What a whiff punish. And the escape from Buffalo. The stare. Do you see that? That dash up from Buffalo, he wants to get in there immediately. Trying to continuously enforce his will upon Gross as they walk their way down towards the corner. I'd like to see a dive kick or so to try to. It might actually be Tatsu and DP. Yeah, believing in his defense is gross as the tables have turned. Maybe instead of Tatsu, just have like a arcing kick, like red kick. The same way here. He jumps and lands on you. Right, yeah, yeah. Like Mount Smash or Cold Blue Kick. Oh, okay. Those off the wall combos add quite a lot of damage. That was a meterless combo. Well, now it's not. Gonna get the mix up mid screen. Whips it. I think, yeah, I don't think that actually worked out. And oh, I love that. Love that shit. Classic. He's only done that once in this set. If you land a slide when you've got an ice clone up, the opponent in the flies into the ice classic, clone, like and then you get a combo. Well, to be fair, Gross has just been slide is mad unsafe, though. He's just spent a lot of time moving backwards slowly, so I get it. Mm -hmm. Ice clone doesn't exactly last a long time. Ooh. They can do that in MK as well. Oh, Sub-Zero's right moves work in perfect unity now. Oh, and just the raw jump in plus frames. Great blocking. And there's the I think a lot of the Sub-Zero had a really long time. He had a, he, they were they did a good job giving him ice-based special moves. But they weren't good moves like for a fighting game. The trade again, mashing. Like he had basically Brady's banana with his ice pool. That's a good ice move if you look at like, you know, how do you make ice into a special move. Slippery ground is a pretty damn good way to do it. But fighting game wise, it's not very interesting. Like you control space a little bit. 
Ice Cloak and Control Space a lot better. Down two. Oh, well, it actually worked out for Buffalo. Subs seems to be okay in this game. I don't know if he's good. I don't know what current tier lists are. I have no idea who's good or not in this game. And that could have been but sub seems alright. He might be good. Back towards the corner. I could like if if you told me the sub was top tier, I'd be like, oh. oh yes. I wouldn't be like, no, he's not. not sure. Oh, he tried to push block. That's what happened. Gross does the jump. I don't think he's top tier though. Buffalo moving forward. I'm not even he sure if he's high tier. Into the string, he delayed it a little bit, and then the standing one came out. Super, super next level stuff there. Now, what else did Sub Zero have? He had the ice into the sky, and then it lands on the opponent. So when you saw that it's like forward, sure. That was definitely forward That's a fine move for ice, but you know it's not. Okay. They didn't. He had a lot of like his moves weren't. I don't know. I don't know what the kids are doing these days. You know, I listen to these music. He's got the slide. The slide is nice. It works with his ice powers. But now his special moves. After all these years, his special moves have perfect unity. You've got the little blast, which is like a reversal, and it also explodes the ice clone, and it does a ton of damage and launches if it explodes an ice clone, and the exploding ice clone hits the opponent. You got the slide, which can hit the opponent into an ice clone. You've got the ice clone. You got your basic bitch fireball, which was already perfect and didn't need to be fixed. I feel like there's another one still. What's the other special move? He's getting a great read right now on when the ice, uh, when the clone toss comes. Yeah, and Gross. He's got that command grab and cryomancer. Perfect momentum shift. This is the, the ice hammer as well. Kicks in oh yeah. Big game situation and Gross is all over Buffalo. Those are okay. Oh, Those don't have perfect unity with the other ones. Wow. I think you, you can really see the desperation in Buffalo's play right now. Absolutely, and, and Gross is feeling like the way Black He's got a mad unsafe overhead in, in MKX, but with the ice, ice clone covering you, it can be made safe. Yeah, no Gross, clone. Is, Gross is definitely playing a perfect game here. His corner game just works perfectly. He's very strong on a corner opponent, without really being unfair. You don't need to take risks on punishes, you can hang out. His neutral is super interesting. It's very unique from every other character. But it's not like really strong. True for this game too. And trying to keep him near that background bounce doesn't quite commit to get the combo. Plus frames. Yeah. Oh, there it is. MKX, uh, sub zero command grab leads to full combos yeah. on EX, which is pretty nuts. There are very few command grabs that lead to a full combo. I think Cheetah has one as well. Uh, what's his face? Um, Shazam used to. That's a very, very, very powerful thing. Command grab that leads to full combo. Um. It was... Crymancer needed a big buff <laughs> to be as good as Grandmaster. And that was the buff they came up with. And it worked. Now Cryo is about as good as Grandmaster. Maybe better. I'm on the TV. Yo, look at these characters. These characters are hype as fuck. Flash is like the soccer of this game. His movement's pretty good. His low overhead is... Is good ish. Never stops. He's, gonna press buttons. he's gonna jump. He's got really nice confirms. And he's got good safe pressure. Wow, what an escape. Interrupt. I mean, look at that. Down two, right there, two. And he's got amazing one bar stuff. He's like SF4 soccer. He just walked so far forward before that grab. But he has like no like far away component whatsoever. You've got to go in. And he's got like no command grab. A lot like SF4 soccer actually. Right now it's working out. No, the error. Well, okay. I feel like almost all of Rito's damage has been just down ones, occasional hits, a grab here and there. It's been very incidental. That, uh, if you do the full string, it ends in an overhead. If you cancel early to the log like that, it ends in a low. So it's actually a little 50-50 every time you do that string. I think both options are really minus though. He is hungry, he doesn't even want to Maybe not really minus. I think both options are minus though. I think this game is less bad than in uh, MKX about animations because most of the characters in this game have like superpowers or crazy technology. So they don't really have human fighting styles. So yeah, you still have really awkward crouch uh, lights here and there. Um, but for the most part, the attacks don't need to... They don't need to re uh, resemble some real martial art. 
MKX is much worse about that. The characters have to be doing some moderately realistic thing for a lot of their attacks. Scorpion can do some weird shit with fire, but, you know, all of his attacks are fundamentally just, like, punches and kicks. The Flash can have, like, normal strings based around his fucking super speed. They can put the super speed in every aspect of his character. Same with, like, Superman. And save. There's so many little staggers here. Absolutely. He's going to call his friend now, switching Swamp Thing animators. As one jumps out from the green now, goes for the full string. Back to the overhead. Be These combos are so cool. Oh my god. That's pretty strong. He needs a grab. He needs I think he can get stronger oh, combos than that. That's a string. The the Yo, that was all unclashable. Oh my god. Oh, not all, but like a lot of it. That did a shit ton. Swamp Thing has really high damage and he also has really good reach. Uh, but his attack speed is really slow. He's also got a coin grab. I guess you could call him a grappler, but he's, he's not really. He kind of is, but he isn't. He is. He's more of a grappler than any other archetype. He's got a lot of big sweeping attacks. He usually isn't up close mixing in his command grab. From the depths of like defeat. Wow. On, with punish in the speed force, who is this man? That's cool. Pretty light pressure from Brito Lori. Wow, it gets that conversion from far away you go. That a lot. Looking optimal, but drop the tail end up is gonna allow him to escape free without Oki situation. I think the sound direction is fucking incredible okay, yeah, in NRS it. games, but Super definitely the hit. Stuff. Yeah, he just builds the board Definitely the visuals the are lacking. The impact. Something's wrong with the impact. The, the sounds sound just like what they appear to be. Well. Yeah. And they spared no expense making all the noises, I feel. No, way too far, but he confirms this. Yeah, we're talking about max range buttons here. Flash cannot oh, no. compete with Swamp Thing in that department. There are no actual charge characters in NRS games, I think. Isn't that super effective? But occasionally you have charge NRS. motions, but without the charge, oh, like back right, forward. It's, right. it's, right. the logic it's quite a common motion in NRS games. The idea of jumping in a fight is already pretty strange. I love his range. That was so good. Outranging That's like one of the most ma punch. basic mechanics of all 2D fighters. This time gets the knockdown for the Oki base to wake up out plus and waits his turn. It's Tsunami showing a little bit of patience on the defensive end. Yeah, one. Pretty light. I've seen a little flying knee here and there in like MMA. I love where Tsunami be standing. Well, not there. That's like that's like the closest you get to a jump in a fight. Some kind of flying knee. Mallet of wood just coming out. But man, he has no resources. How does he extend? Get the speed force. Wow, 1-1. One, one. You see the range on that thing? Oh, Tekken style jumps that in real life. Again, I love where Tsunami be standing. Minus the hop kick, which is like the one you actually yeah, see in Tekken. About 4-3 or whatever. A uh, super. Minus yes. frames into super. Good shit. You don't see supers almost ever in this game. They do a lot of chip. They also combo pretty easily. They also add a lot of damage. But it's just, it's so much meter. Supers aren't bad. They're just like woefully outclassed by four individual EXs. Like one bar adds... Like... <laughs> Uh, 250 damage combo becomes a 400 damage combo with yeah. one bar, maybe a 500 damage combo, and then that becomes like a 600 damage combo with a super, or like something like that. The returns are just so shit for the next three bars. You'd rather spend four ones. You'd rather spend two ones than a super. Tekken does have some really nice, like, form, I guess. To the range of forward two, great adaptation, and he's gonna have Burrito Voorhees in the corner. Got a little drink, he's probably still hungry, but at the end of the day, plus frames. I mean, yeah, there's like fighting pandas and shit. A fighting panda. Yeah, there's Roger Jr. In Tekken. No, overhead. Oh, there it is, okay. 
Flashing uh, Flash feels like shit because if he gets another, if he gets his trait, you can't clash that anymore. You really want to save your clash for his trait. Because his trait adds a ton of damage. If you look at like the Muay Thai on fucking, I don't know, Bruce, kickboxing, the trait, yeah, you can't jump when you're on these, I think, and you take constant damage, something like that. That was cool, though. I haven't seen his trait actually used ever. It's like the very first time I've ever seen anyone use fucking Swamp Thing's trait. That was kind of cool. If you look at the form of like the Taekwondo on Horang or Beck, it looks mad good. Yeah, you're definitely opened up. If there's one thing about Tekken up that's better than like all other fighting games, it's the attention to the actual form of the martial arts. I can't name another fighting game that comes close. Has been very down one heavy. Yes. And I think Tsunami V has recognized that. And finally opened up. He's looking to try to react to 50 50s. Yeah. Even the made up martial arts look pretty good. And as you said at the beginning of the set, down one two going right Like fucking Kazama style self defense looks quite a lot like Aikido. No invincibility for you as soon as Mishima style karate. I don't know what the fuck that's. I don't know if it looks that much like karate, but it looks like a real martial art at least. For some of it, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's there's always fucking back plus one plus four from fucking Kazuya. Um, hello? Um, Adon? Adon has, like, picturesque Muay Thai, apart from his special moves. Adon has a very realistic fighting style. Lay's kind of weird because all of his, like, attacks are based on, like... I mean, they're I guess they're based on real martial arts. They're based on movies. But they're based on movie versions of real martial arts. Adon is funny because, um, like, nothing. Sagat has nothing like Muay Thai. It's just called Muay Thai. I've talked about this before, but it's just kind of a funny animation quirk of Street Fighter. Is all the attacks that were new to Street Fighter 4 Sagat actually look like Muay Thai? If you look at all the new shit he got. Like all of like all of his normals don't look like Muay Thai for shit. Maybe Stan Hark. No push block. Yeah. He just got like no, he's got attacks. But then you look at the new animations they made. Like uh the focus attack. Like that fucking elbow plus knee crunch. That's very Muay Thai. Yeah, okay. If you look at the towards fierce where he swings the elbow down, it's very Muay Thai. The towards short and the towards hard kick, very Muay Thai. He wants to try to armor his way through these things. But All the new animations they made actually look um, really good, like the martial art. And then the entire character of Adon was made more recently than Street Fighter. And of course, his Muay Thai looks like, you know, real Muay Thai because it was after they started caring. No push block. He's going to attempt to try to block all of this during his reforce and gets out successfully undamaged. Wow, he dashed in afterward. Okay. This, I think Bane gives players that extra it's just kind of funny. Confidence, yeah, yeah. But you just feel like you that they have all these want. legacy attacks, but then all the new shit they made actually looks good. Going into level three or not, maybe not good, one. but it looks he realistic. Crash his first Even a plus. Bar. Oh, he expected the. And now no more venom. He's in trouble. In fact, if he gets touched, no, it's not. Good. It's not gonna be all right. Almost no damage, but he wastes that debuff time, which is very important. Especially level three taking so Bane long. is a super it's interesting character. Won't we'll get the extended damage, but still we'll get normal flash things. <laughs> and great mix-up potential. Oh, no meter burn, surprising. The way the timers work with Bane is pretty neat. Bane's objectives are always pretty similar. He wants to hit you. He wants to mix you up. Either he wants to do it because he gets a lot of damage, or he wants to do it because um, he wants to waste time. And he can waste a lot of time when he's hitting. Goes to level three. Level like if he's, if he's in debuff yeah, and he's hitting you, then he doesn't. Oh my god, where did it all go? Like that, tsunami, his health bar is into the. Where he got running, baby. I'm like, you know. Ryan's gonna challenge that immediately. Adam versus Adam. I don't care about these two. Bane. Knowing Gur, the king of interactable play and the punish on the cross up. Oops. Opened up. Oh, he's in trouble. Yeah, he tried to At least you can talk. You know, a, a thing 
something that kind of it's not troubling but I always wonder why when Adam is in trade right and we're all waiting for it to end so we can get the full combo punish a lot of players just stand there and try to guess the mix up or react to the throw gross there was just moving away yeah he's trying to get he out of just, there yeah I'm not even gonna oh he ran that clock that was attack. good that's a good idea okay Absolutely. I like that Scott he waited for the recovery period at the end and then he actually got a punish it wasn't a great punish force a mix up in a situation where he becomes a bit sloppy and he's able to get the punish okay I don't know what martial art fucking. Oh, that was a punish. I don't know what the hell martial art you're in supposed to be. But all his attacks do have a lot of theming going on. Maybe not theming, that's a bit strong. But they look internally consistent. He seems to like attacking with his, like. Um. With a certain kind of swing. The way he moves his arms and legs is very consistent among all his attacks. His form looks very perfect. I don't know about perfect. It's not like he has amazing fighting form. It's more like his 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 body is very idealized in his attacks. It's like his limbs are n like nice straight directions and nice arc to his elbows and knees, or like very straight for his elbows and knees if they're not bent. And like the pot, like the way that his hands go, or the way that his feet go. It's like you could take a picture. He's he's very photogenic for every fucking frame of his attacks. They were going for like a. They were going for like a Grecian body kind of thing. They were going for like an idealized form kind of thing. An athlete kind of thing. Athlete as an ideal body type is what they were going for. For his, like, animations. Technically, I should say for Gil's animations because most of Yuri, uh, most of Yurian's animations started on Gil. Gil predates Yurian by one year, and they have a pretty similar set of normals. And I think they were definitely going for a kind of perfect body look on um, on Gil. Great stuff. You saw Gross look like he was about to press a button. You saw his character bounce up and down to just duck and not get traded with that Vita Burn Ray Gun, which does keep you in the sky for extending combo. Couldn't quite keep it up. Blocking, blocking, not for long. Got the read. Gross got it. First animations in SF5. And you know what? Maybe Alex. Yes, he did. Into the corner we go. Enough time for safety. And the raw forward three. Not sure what Gross is looking for there, but this may be enough to kill. His, he, he's dying. Damage. Look at his, Damage. You're melting, sir. Look at that. You are melting. And that is good as a throw. As Alex has kind of shit animations Yo, for a lot of his attacks. <laughs> Science, my brother. Happen. Yeah, that's right. Science. Corrosive powers. Yes. And again, Gross. That's so smart. He expected the 4 3 again and simply raw jump. Best out. animations. Okay, expected that too. Uh, exactly the right call. Let right. me think about that. There, but just the background bounce. No push block. And again, here's the. Trying to get back in. Is he overextending? Yeah, he. Oh, man. Don't make me fly up your nose. You get the Best animations. <laughs> Like that, that's his problem with it, that there won't be a chance. Wow. I'm tempted to say a character with relatively realistic animations. I feel like Chun-Li, like, her animations are pretty, but like, you know. I don't have a preconception of how a spinning bird kick could look, should look. Who's a character with really nice... They clearly did a lot of work with Blanca. I know he seems like an odd pick after I just said. I don't think he's my number one. But I do think they put a lot of time into the way his attacks look. They do look very uh, best deal. Best deal. Kareem? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 they're okay. Looking around for validation, you know? Yeah, Sonic definitely give it Attacks bleed into each other rather nicely for Kareem. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's he seen knows. a lot of jump backs at the start from Gurr. Great spacing there with that sweep. 
and again, a little bit of goes well for Herrecas. <laughs> Wing up! Oh, huge drop. Yeah, it was too Kyrie has like nice looking normals, yeah, I guess. I don't know. She attacks in a way that doesn't really make sense either. I don't think I'd say her. You can't have it all. Shut down. Guy has nice animations. Zeku, like I suppose. By today, sir. Association. Man, that jump three, pretty solid. Let me think. I feel like there's a really good answer for beautiful Ooh, animations. Definitely not Rashid. He's probably among the worst. They're very him, but they're like very silly looking. Dudley has amazing animations in Street Fighter, but he's not far. I feel like there's a really good answer. Sakura does have nice animations. Yeah, I like the way she swings her arms for that back fierce. I like the way she draws back for that forward, that hard punch. He woke up with it again. Gross, this time. Then about the elbow. There's a splat hard knockdown. Wake up from Gurkha. The sweep got a nice little follow up. Keeps it safe. And that's going to be a punch. A lot, of re a lot more recovery on that down three than I thought. You kind of feel the oomph of a crutch fierce. Yeah, one of the more floaty jumps in the game. Yeah, Gross, swing forward's down. a bit awkward. I don't like that one. Kind of at the same time that he's doing the down three and he's still getting the punish. That button can maybe use a tiny, tiny smidgey buff. It's hard to use in its intended purposes, which I think is a poke and a um, feature you activate normal. It's not amazing it either. Oh Pretty hard kick is... it's kind of cool. I wouldn't put soccer as best animations. There's like a good answer somewhere. Like Colleen has nice looking normals. And she's got some really pretty special moves actually. And I like the way she slides around. I gotta tell you, the hitbox on that thing is amazing. In fact, it was so good that at one point he jumped in and Gross didn't even try to down two. Each individual game going down to the last three or set and Gross going. He tried the anti air as it came over. Yeah, dreaming big in that situation. Yeah, that's not easy to do. Yeah, Laura, they're good. They're very realistic, actually. Um, somewhat realistic. Rashid, no. Nikali, definitely no. Um, Fong is godlike animations. Fong probably is the funniest for me. I appreciate Fong's animations probably the most of any character, but I don't know if I called them the best. I don't know. I guess they are the best. They're very so good. The sudden, they c like, like we didn't know anything about Fong. This is his debut game, but he's very well characterized by the way he attacks. Kemi has realistic looking ones for the most part, yeah. not counting the specials. I don't, I don't know if I call him super good. Chun Li, not really. Ryu and Ken, probably not. I agree, I think Fong has one of my favorite designs of all Street Fighter. Um, Guile has some nice-ish animations. Some of them are really awkward, but a lot of them are cleaned up. Like, Crouch Medium Kick looks more like a real attack that someone could do in this game than it did in Street Fighter 4. But Guile has always had a lot of legacy animations that don't really make any sort of real sense. Like, what's upside down, Kate? Zangief has kind of weird looking animations, don't like them. His limbs feel like they should be a lot longer. It feels like they gave him pretty stubby attacks considering how big he is compared to most of the cast. Like, Shanley can put her leg out pretty damn far. 
It looks like Geef should be able to put his leg out a similar distance. Feels like Geef has a little bit more leg than Chun Li. I know that Chun Li's legs are nice and beefy, but you know, Geef is tall. Seems animations are good. They're well designed, but you know, it's another case of I have no preconception for how that should look. I feel like there's some characters I haven't even thought about. M. Bison, they're okay. Vegas look pretty damn good, actually. Most of Vegas animations look great. Okay. First time we've seen that. He's been dealing with a lot of jump ins, and so there's the armor. Yep, and that is going to combo. Gets hit with the blue goo. Oh, and it was in time. Chip was all he needed. Potions are wow, really strange. I don't know how they work. Things up in this final game. Yeah, you talk about dominance, and Gur comes out of the gate showing growth. Um, Boxer has good animations. Overhead, not into anything. Didn't have the trait to continue right. and wouldn't commit, and now he's going to pay for it. I can't explain it, but something about the way the boxers, uh, boxing gloves work. Are definitely in the danger mode. A lot of meter, only one. It was a very early clash, after all. Just looks really nice. I love the roundness of the his light punch oh, at the end of the uh, oh fist. And enough to get the punish. Now he, all of his meter is gone. Or like his low strong. Boxers punches just look great. Gross, staying man, strong, the crouch fierce. Something about, that's about that's them, I can't explain it, but they just look really good. Okay, great down two on the cross up jump attempt. The medium kick. Finding its way back into this one, into the corner, and great okay. pick up. Look at this, look at this comeback here for Gross. <sighs> Wait a like I kind of prefer the animation of Street Fighter Four crouch hard kick, where he just put his hand out and it tripped you, but now he sweeps it across your feet, so it looks like a real sweep. So, f like from a functional standpoint, it looks a lot more like an attack that could trip you. But I, uh, something about the Street Fighter 4 sweep was very iconic to me because it was silly. Because he just literally punched your leg out from under you instead of pulling it. Alright, Gross is going to survive. Last opportunity at life. Trying to get more offensive. Gurr waiting on the trade. Here's the side kick. Nice, no meter on it though. I agree, it does work. You know one thing I think is pretty cute? Oh boy, everything matters. Everything matters now. Giles and Nash's supers do the same damage. Because it's the same attack. I think he just buffered it in. It was chip for the kill. There's Gur. Taking Gross out. Gur survives. We've talked about how well he's played this year, and that continues. That was sick. Down one into back forward two. Gross actually tried to press a button there. The down one was on block. You trying to block it successfully. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't know, really but sure. I haven't I've seen it really too successful yet. Yeah. Maybe there's some layers to it. We'll this isn't even we'll the whole video. Time goes along, but it will be Sonic Fox against Forever King. Okay, it's everything except Grand Finals, which is right here. And our sing, it will make fucking Circa Forever King on their last legs. You know, These two. Evo, Firestorm and Batman, huh? Cement the legacy, you know, let you know what was good with it before it all goes away. Now, now oh, two. Oh, it is punished. Nice. So it's so fast on the on understanding the situation. I've been thinking about that. Street Fighter V lore told through animations. There's a little bit. There's enough for a video anyway. Maybe the inspiration behind some B skills. Nice. Dalsim actually looks like he has to kind of sling his limbs at you. That's something I really like about his animations. That's like a little touch that I think is really effective. Obviously it's just to give him more startup. Like functionally they just need his attacks to have a lot of startup or else they would be really stupid. But it looks like with the startup of his attacks he really needs to like... He needs. He really needs to like toss that limb at you. You know what I mean? Like he's got to build it up. Firestorm corner combos are pretty cool looking. That actually hit. That jump two hit. He could have just gotten a fat ass combo there. Comboing from a jump in is a bit jank in this game, in, in Netherrealm games. It's very easy, but it's jank. Basically, on a hit, you can cancel air normals into ground normals. But it doesn't happen on block, which gives you a kind of weird OS. 
you know, about two or three character spaces away, Sonic Fox likes to throw out that molten trap. Like, if you do, even if you get a deep ass jump too, and then do an attack like on the frame you land, it won't combo. A fast attack on the frame you land. But if you do like a pretty, if you do like a very high connect jump too, and then do a very slow attack, um, like in the air as a cancel from the jump too, then you'll land and do it on the earliest possible frame. And it will um, uh, combo, even if it's a pretty slow attack, even if it's a much bigger window. Basically, you cancel air normals into ground normals in this game. And that cancel will only come out on hit and not on block, so you'll get the earliest possible attack on the ground only if you hit them. It's kind of strange. Um, so there's kind of a long animation at the end of... Uh, uh, the end of a round, where it shows the character's little victory pose, like in Street Fighter, like in fucking most fighting games. But restart just bypasses it. it you don't have to wait for the fucking character select or like replay match or fucking return to menu. You can just go straight down to rematch. It's actually, if you play this game, it's a really nice feature. You'll find yourself doing it all the time. It's a lot faster. There's a lot less downtime doing casuals in this game versus doing casuals in um, Street Fighter. There's always a little period in Street Fighter between every match where you've got some time to like think about things. Or you're waiting for the next match to start, but in this game you're never waiting. Unless you want it to be. It's very refreshing. I wish that Street Fighter would steal that restart button. It's actually one of the nicest features of uh, another realm games. Like legitimately it's one of the nicest features of another realm games. It seems like it wouldn't be a big deal, but it just feels great to never have downtime. It's such a like a nice little tiny quality of life thing. Normally the quality of life in other arm games is a lot worse. But that's one thing that's way better. Neutral after that string, looking for the back dash as he's been calling it out all tournament long. There yep, he's there in time. Not much though, right. Jumps into the throw. Like I I don't think people realize how sick that actually is. Here comes the Best animations, Ed. No clash. One mix up. All right, yeah, okay, I, I feel like it was a mistake to have Ed kick. Put an end to it. It would have been a mix up afterwards. And now it's gonna be. I do like his little mash punch special. It looks nice. His towards strong and then batting it at you is pretty cool. Don't know about his charge fierce. His V skill animations for the charge and uncharge for the low and the high. All four of those are fucking pretty nice. Looking for the dash forward with the molten trap right in front of him. But Ed does have some nice animations. His kicks are awkward. I appreciate that. His kicks look kind of bad, but I can understand. His stand medium kick looks kind of weird. His crouch medium kick looks a, probably the most normal. His crouch light kick looks like a real attack, I guess. His stand light kick looks like a real attack, I guess. His stand hard kick looks kind of weird. His crouch card kick looks really weird. The young man from Ohio. His kicks are either all very non-committal or come out very strangely, like unpracticed. But he learned how to kick from a guy who literally doesn't kick. So I don't know. I don't know if I can fault them. And there's a throw. King successful on his throw attempts. Sonic Fox has had all of his broken. You know the is in there I think I left Jury out of the hidden lore, but um, she's a her four kicks and two punches is a reference to King, uh, not King Kim from KOF, who has one punch and three kicks. Yeah, that's that's a hard spot for Batman to play unless he has bats and patience. And they maintain that for Street Fighter Five. She's still got two punches and four kicks. Hard punch is a kick button. You can still do punch special moves with it, but you know. All of her animations are kicks with hard punch. Over it. Yeah, I, I think Perfect King had the right idea there. Absolutely, but he got the clean jump in. It's a full combo damage B and B. Here's the restand off the boat and trap and another tech throw from Forever King. I really could do an SF5 hidden lore video. I've got enough. I've got like more than enough stuff. People would really like that video. People really like number one. I might do that soon. Might do it tomorrow. Yeah, immediately. Good stuff. Just wanted to see if you could block.
blocked that mix up when he saw he did not. He gets out. All right, recover. Sonic does have level three trait actively oh, yeah. waiting. There's the back two safe from that range. Need to burn back three. Thought there'd King. be another one. Yeah, he's trying to force his way in now. Patience for both men. Go low right there. He commits. Yeah, he sure did. And here's here. the blue. There's the low from point blank. This Sonic will kill. With the big risk, but it paid he didn't kill. This is it. Damage over it's fine. Time. He had Whatever basically guaranteed chip kill. Sonic Fox, look at him. <laughs> he definitely said, it takes two with Firestorm. Right in the King's <laughs> ear on that time. Two games to one. Single victory away, and we oh, you weren't even you didn't even know. Bait. We know what happens when Sonic Fox gets a life lead in these type of moments. Which yeah, we wanted it again. Block the time. Trevor King now no bats. King's still very much alive. He's shown prowess. Every match has been tough. Mm. I like the idea, but just too much range on that burst. Get there it go. Gets the bat in the middle. Here's yeah. a, oh, have you know that your aim was actually made in second second like impact? Second chance, though Sonic Fox pressing a lot of buttons and wow, using charge through a back two free string. It's a free punish every oh. single time. This is killing King. Front side and a little shimmy shake. Cody's forehead. attacks tell Just a story. You try to raw react. Now you have to deal with my moves. Got a lot of haymaker style, style moves. Twitches, Not a lot of form. But a lot of shit that looks like it would hurt. First life bar, he'll probably get one in time. He fights like a street fighter. Bar. His mid range and sort of up close pressure, they've been excellent in the last round and a half. Forever King trying to be slow. Yeah, very patient. There, there you it go. Is. Great confirm from Forever King as we go towards the corner now. Gets the full combo into the restand. Now it's his turn. Sonic, you have to deal with this. Throw. Okay, yes. I like the throw again. Be a god. You wake up full and trap. Well, yeah. Box. He hit him out of it. Yes, plus frames Forever King with a tight execution. Beautiful stuff. Not giving up. The game isn't over until it's over. And great right in conversion. There. Sonic Fox in the corner. No, too far on the forward three. Very unfortunate. As a result, Fox gets the hit. He gets the corner. That deliberate wait. Right he tech. wanted to reset. Oh, and the, the extended idea. Dan uh, forward three range that this Firestorm got in the last patch. Can't get touched at all. Yeah, you have to force it here. There's the fusion charge. Yeah. Sonic doesn't carry. There's another time. one. Yeah, that was and all Sonic Fox is your final round That's it? 2018 champion. Good shit. They said Firestorm players don't travel where. Now you got one who oh, goes man. to everything. <laughs> and the torture is among us. As Sonic Let's check the pools for like cool characters. There might be some really wacky shit down here. That's not really wacky at all. That's that's quite wacky. That's not that wacky. I haven't seen a Green Lantern that much in this game. But Catwoman is not so common anymore, but still common. Let's take a little look, see what Green Lantern's all about. He was pretty fundamental. He was like kind of zoning-ish last game. His damage is so low in this game. He got really nice conversions for one bar. But now his one bar damage is actually like some of the lowest in the game. I guess because his one bar, his EX ring grab is so easy to land. He has like stronger combos with the EX bomb explode. And you can use that in the same combo as an EX ring grab too. So you can get some nice two bar stuff. That didn't kill, what? Uh, who's asking, I want the Green Lantern to do something cool. Okay. I want to see like a completed Green Lantern combo. Yeah. Who won that? I don't see them very often. So that's an overhead that can also be a low that's kind of cool. <laughs> we just saw a full mix up right there between those two options. Oh. I just want to see a completed combo. You think if you watch a whole match you'd see at least one completed combo. I want to see the combo route. I want to see the one bar. Okay, this looks good. That was a bit. Yeah, that was definitely cut short. He was trying for to go for some Oki stuff. Is that how Green Lantern works in this game? That was kind of cool. I didn't know you could get it towards me there. Is that mid screen or is that corner only? She took full damage from that. Ooh, she had to armor. She got two hits in time. 
Oh, I switched Aquaman. That's not cool at all. Show me the cool characters. You get cool characters in pools. That's a blue beetle. Blue beetle versus firestorm. These were two of the most requested characters to get added, apparently. Define how to stage it. They, d they have different interactables. There's actually different interactables on each sides of the stages. There's a lot of different kinds of interactables. There's the wall bounce ones where the opponent bounces off the background. There's objects you can throw at your opponent. Some of them are unblockable, most of them aren't. There's objects you can jump off of. Different characters tend to throw them or jump off of them. Some characters have super strength and can throw shit. Other characters don't have super strength and just bounce off shit. And then every stage has, I shouldn't say every, but a lot of the stages have like one side you can get hit through. If it's a back three. The back three does just enough damage that it's usually like, you never feel bad for getting it. It like does close to the damage of the max damage you get in that scenario. Rare exceptions. And you're stuck. He's trying to go for the disrespect right now. I like what I see, Full Auto. So he's just trying to reset Blue Beetle's a character you don't see very often. He was like bottom tier when the game came out, I think. Now I think he's crept up some due to patches and better knowledge. Uh, I did see the CPT 2018 stage. I saw like the one little screenshot of it. There's more than that one little screenshot that I haven't seen. I saw the outfits too, they look very Japanese, but I don't mean that in a good or bad way. I guess they both look pretty good. And they're both characters I play, so, huh? I might actually pick up the soccer one. When does it come out? Is it already out? Probably not, right? Does it come out at fucking Evo? Probably not. I don't actually know how long they wait. I have like almost no costumes. I don't know how long they wait before like between announcing a costume and putting it in. I never ever sleep. Actually I just have a night shift. Fourth of April. That's not too long to wait. Captain Cold. I don't think I ever saw anyone play him except Sonic Fox, but I saw a whole lot of Sonic Fox playing him. I like these kinds of moon runes. Is it like that? That would be April 4th. When you're frustrated, sometimes you just go right back into it. I drink lots and lots of green tea. Way faster now, along with being able to charge. Activate the fire seal into bounce camps. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my goodness, the BP damage. 400 plus. Oh my goodness, the meter burn. Forward three into body bags. Oh my goodness, Phil Auto is on another level. He got hit one time that round, and that's it. Okay, Backpack is really... I think I don't know if Backpack's out of it right now. I think he's pretty done. This, this is... Well, I think is that Yon... Yon Gatsu Yoka, I think? I don't remember how to say that. I forget when it's get to and when it's got to. That kanji is a uh, ski. 
which means moon. The month character is moon, which I guess refers to like a lunar month, which is about as long as a month month. And the day character is sun, which is, you know, a sun cycle. Measuring the moon cycles and the sun cycles. Works rather nicely. They're just numbered in Japanese. They don't have cool names. The days of the week, however, do have cool names. Rather than Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or whatever, they have, um, well, let's see, starting from Sunday, they've got Sunday, Moon Day, Fire Day, oh my god, it's been so long, uh, Water Day, Tree Day, or perhaps Wood Day, um, Gold Day, and then Ground Day, I think, Earth Day, that's like it, that's their days of the week. It's kind of cool. See you next fire day. Kaiyobi. Why am I watching these two? I got Sonic Fox on. Bane is kind of hype. No, that's not Bane, that's Cyclops. I got confused by the ripped back with all those electronics on it. I never, ever, ever, ever see Cyclops. I mean Cyclops, Cy Cyborg. Um, that's that's unique. When Cyclops and NBC? Would X-Men save NBC? I feel like they'd be a good step in the right direction. I want Gambit. I want Colossus. I want Psylocke. I want Mag fucking Nito. I want Wolverine. Who else? Who are some X-Men? I want Storm. I want the Juggernaut bitch. Wow, there are a lot of good X-Men. Like, fuck all Capcom side. Just add a shit ton of X-Men. Rogue, add Rogue. You already know Sensei's on tilt. Absolutely. Sensei, who once came out showing. Give me Shadow Cat. Hasn't been able to play necessarily in his life. Neutral? No. Adam's on the screen. Oh, well, Cyborg, I'm sorry. I mean, it looks good to start things up and get the. Give me Jubilee. I want Jubilee. Daphne could have just killed the life for it. Okay, you got it. Alright, Curse is going to walk back. I want fireworks. He just shot the sky and said, just barely viable, boys. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> <laughs> OTG. No, that's game. That's game. Okay, I'm sorry. Is that what Booyah means? Barely viable? Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> Learning. This is now. <laughs> now you're like, nah, 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 nah. We are, we are, we are, we are. Welcome to school. Uh, final round. Class 101. The Justice Dialogue with your teacher, Sonic Fox. I'm not a teacher. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just epic, though. I actually think this is a terrible matchup for Reza. This is not. Do any corner of the game. Give me Squirrel Girl and make all of her attacks full screen instant and, um. Or wish to stop that. <laughs> so touch of death. This is a much less interesting matchup. Show me the weird shit. Flash versus Firestorm is kind of neat. I was hoping for like a fucking cheater or some wild fucking, I don't know. We got top 8, um, what's his face? Swamp thing, that's pretty weird. Oh, that's, that's, I haven't seen him in a while, Hellboy. I think he's supposed to be alright. This outfit has horns. Hellboy's design is pretty great. I'm pretty tired. I'm getting to that point where I should be asleep. 
I can tell because I don't really even want to watch when its characters I think are cool. And I've been up for a while. There's a the Hellboy outfit with the horns. Harley, Firestorm. Meh. Yeah, it's time. I gotta go to bed. Sleepy laugh.